Well, hello, my YouTube family. He's just chilling on the bed today. Not much activity. He's considering the pillows. He doesn't know just yet because it's kind of hot. Even though the AC is on now, now that I'm home, he, uh, you know, decisions. Boo -boo. Yeah. Wanna say hi to the family? Wanna say hi? Say hi to the family. Say hi. There we go. Straight into the camera. Your golden, gorgeous eyes. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, what the hell have I been doing with all of my life before I had a cat? I should have had a cat. But my mom didn't want a cat. She didn't like cats. And lo and behold, I wind up with the cat. Okay, people. So uh, it is Wednesday, June 24th, 2015. And I'm just, I'm so tired. I'm just so tired, you know. It's coming around the bend of that time, you know. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm feeling very drained. And I guess we didn't want to. Do the pillows today. He's out the door. He goes. Okay, swing the door now. So I'm, you know, I'm a little, I'm a little drained. I'm a little feeling a little weighed down, but not weighed down enough to not do a video for my family. So here we go. And as you can see, the color of the day. Of course, the lipstick does not match this red. The headband matches the shirt perfectly. And I could have found a red to go on with all of this, but I didn't. And I haven't worn this one in a while. So what the heck? It's not, it doesn't make that much of a difference, right? At least I'm less bam glowy. The, last, the past two days I was, well, the first one was a lighting situation. Monday was a lighting situation. Yesterday was, I think, an overload of blush and eyeliner. Even though a lot of people said that I was rather glowy, in a nice way. I hope y'all meant it in a nice way. And I was very, very complimented. Thank you very much. But this is like a normal kind of glowy. This is like a normal little toned down, but yet still glowy glow. So here we go. So let us do lips of the day. Let us start off with the liner. Nat Robbins, which I think you can probably eBay. I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe Amazon. Mm, I don't know. Uh, Mechanical Definer Lip Liner in Chianti. Aligned. And filled is my Kate Rimmel. Let's see, Kate. Kate. Rimmel Lipstick. And this is in 09. I think the first time I did it, I thought it was 60. No, Nancy. It's it's oh nine. Okay. It's oh nine. And this is what oh nine looks like. It is a blue based red. And it is a moisture lipstick, I believe. Hold on. It, lasting finish. Lasting finish by Kate lipstick. So it's kind of like a satiny kind of feel. It's not matte. And it's definitely not a gloss, obviously. So it's kind of like a, a satin formula, satin cream formula. Very nice. Stays on your lips, does not budge. Does not budge. This is the shade. It is a blue-based red. You can see the blue undertone. And I am loving this. Loving it. I didn't have to do this all day. Because it was really stick to your lips and it really wasn't going anywhere. So I didn't have to touch up or anything. So that is 09 Lasting Finish Lipstick, Kate Rimmel. Or Rimmel by Kate. Whichever. Doesn't really matter. So there you go, people. There you go. I don't think I have any stories for you today. No, I, I really don't. I'm doing a hell of a lot more Facebooking. I really got to watch myself. But, um, you know, a lot of people get away with a hell of a lot more than what I'm doing, okay? 
I can understand if I had a do- another job, like another responsibility to do, and Facebook was interfering with that particular job. But Facebook does not interfere with me answering the phone, especially when the phone could be dead for a couple of hours. Sometimes it's just, sometimes I have to check the phone to see if it's ringing, to see if it's working, because I, I don't hear anything. Nothing is coming. It doesn't really start to pick up until like a quarter to 11, around 11 o'clock ish hour. So for, from nine to 10, I'll get a ring or two, but then it's, it's basically dead. So I'm either watching CNN and after a while, people, okay, after a while, that gets a bit redundant. So I Facebook. Okay. It's not interfering with anything that I am doing whatsoever. I've completed my um, supervisor's um, expense report for this month, and it was so good that I did not know the, uh, the woman who trains me, her, uh, Miss Know It All. She didn't even call me back to tell me, could you pull it back because you have to do such and such and you didn't do. I did it completely well everything was copacetic I didn't have to bring it back I didn't have to make any corrections so I did that that was fine so didn't interfere with that particular job which I did last week fine so I think they could you know if they have something to complain about it's not interfering with my responsibilities. So let me just do what I'm doing, okay? Let it be, let it be, let it be. I don't know who was in today. Um, Big Girl, she was in. Oh, and um, Big Girl was in and New Girl was in. She, she may not knew that much, but that's the only way I can define her. So Big Girl was in, New Girl was in. Shorty, I didn't see. So I don't know if she was in or not. And my supervisor. I think I saw her this morning. I'm not really sure. You know what? I, I'm home now. It really doesn't matter. So that's that with that upon that. Last night was Deadliest Catch. Last night was Real Housewives of New York. We are going to have to discuss. Last night was Tyrant and I DVR'd Proof. Let's, let's get on with uh, Real Housewives of New York. First, no, before we even touch up on Real Housewives of New York, can we touch up on Real Housewives of the of Beverly Hills? I already said that Brandy Glanville, she gone, right? So I already told you about that. History. So I don't know who they're going to take to replace her, but she's gone, and I, I think Kim Richards is gone, and, and, um, Ramona, Ronda, uh, you know the one, the blonde chick, the, the blonde one, um, she's going to be good. So that's three housewives from the OC, that not from the OC, from Beverly Hills, that are gone. So one is due to health issues, which is the short blonde one. I forgot her name. It's at the tip of my tongue and I can't even, I, I you know. She's gone. Kim Richards is gone because she needs some help. That child needs some help. She needs to go back and stay in rehab. She needs to stay in rehab. And Brandy needs some help too, okay? She needs to keep her legs closed. That's number one. Number two, um, she needs to ease up on the drinking. That's number two because you are a mother of two. So maybe you want to really back in. I'm just saying. Speaking of drinking, this is the segue to Real Housewives of New York, okay? Um... Sonia needs to learn to listen when somebody is trying to give her advice. And Bethany was the person of choice, I guess, to try to give her advice. Bethany had to tell her to shut the F up because she's trying to talk to Sonia and Sonia is over talking her. And her point is not coming across. And this is Sonia's problem. This is Sonia's problem. She doesn't want to deal with her own reality. She has an excuse for everything. For everything. Everything that's gone wrong in her life, there's an excuse for it. She cannot own up to anything. She really can't. She can't de- she's in complete denial of everything that's been going on in her life. Everything. And Bethany sees it and sh- she's crying out for help. But she doesn't want to take the help that that 
that people are offering her. So, I mean, when she goes out with the girls and they go out clubbing, apparently Luann, ha Luann Heather, and Carol, on more than one occasion, have had to drag her sorry ass, and I'm talking about Sonia, her sorry ass back to her apartment, like literally drag her up the stairs to her bedroom and let her collapse on the bed. And she wakes up fine because she doesn't remember what the hell happened. She don't remember how she got home. She apparently doesn't care. She doesn't wake up with a, with a hangover, apparently. And she's ready and good to go for another round. The next night, she takes home youngins. I mean, she could be their mother, okay? I have an issue. I have an issue when 20-somethings are trying to talk me up. And I'm like, look, don't even waste your time because I could be your mother. Oh, but I like older women. Hush, little boy. But Sonia? Sonia is bringing on. If he's legal, I'll take him. And you know what I mean by it. I'll take him. Okay? So, yeah, she's got all kinds of issues. And Bethany was trying desperately to get through. And Bethany thinks that she did get through, but you know when they talk to you separately from, from what's going on and they talk to you separately, listening to what Sonia said, it, it didn't sink in. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't sink in. She is in complete denial. She's just trying to, uh, you know, whatever go, is going on with Bethany in her life, she's trying to direct it toward me. I'm like, no, bitch. She is trying to help you with your sorry ass life that you are leading. You're leading a sorry ass life. Bethany is trying to help you. Bethany got her own issues, by the way, but she is really trying desperately to like Sonia and to try to help her. It's not working. In the meantime, Ramona, <laughs> the bikini, that yellow bikini. Okay, she's got, you know, she's got a nice body. But these women, <sighs> this is the thing. I don't think these women know how to be by themselves. They don't know how to be one with themselves. They need a man all the time, especially if they're getting a divorce or whatever. Except for Bethany. Bethany is cool. She's, she's, she's not ready to. She's got her own issues. She's not ready to throw down with a man right now. She's okay. She's, she's all right. She's got her head on, screwed on right. When it comes to Sonia and Ramona, I, I really, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I don't know what to say. These women cannot be by themselves. They need a man. They need company. They need men around them to make them feel good. What is wrong with you that you yourself can't make you feel good? Like, why can't you make yourself feel good? Like Carol, for instance, Carol can take them or leave them. If they're heading her way, hello, come on over. But if there's nothing for Miles... She's got her book. To, she's a well-accomplished, independent woman. So she doesn't really need a guy. If he's if he's cute and he's coming her way and, you know, he's doing his due, okay, fine. She'll take him or she'll leave him, whatever. She'll have fun in the process. But And Luann is pretty much the same way. But Luann is a little bit more mature. She's a little bit more... She's very European in thought. And I tend to kind of think the way she does sometimes. She, she can take them or leave them too. She can be by herself. Not a problem. She has been by herself since she, I guess, she was, was she engaged to that French dude? But Well, they were going together or they were living with each other for a while and then they broke up. Well, apparently she's she's been okay. You know, guys have been coming her way and she can either leave them or take them. She's okay being by herself. I like a woman who, if she doesn't have, and I'm going to be blunt and I'm going to be frank, if she doesn't have a dick around her, she is okay. She doesn't need it. She doesn't need it 24-7. She doesn't need it to make her feel like a woman. You know what I mean? But Ramona and Sonia are two different, are cut from the same cloth. 
they're two different kind of women. They're very dependent on the the adoration of a man. They need a man to tell them that they're gorgeous, they're beautiful, or you're lovely, or you're so fantastic, or I want to, to sleep with you 24-7. They need that all the time, 24 hours a day. And I can understand Mario, you know, being with Ramona for X amount of years and having to coddle her and give her her way just so he could have peace in his mind. I can understand why he strayed. Because he probably strayed for silence. Because Ramona is not a quiet woman. She's not a quiet woman. I don't think she knows how to be quiet. She has to be talking. It's like a machine gun, 24-7. Come on. Enough is enough. So, this is just what, this is my opinion. I could be way off base, but I have a feeling I'm, I'm pretty close on point. Pretty close. Heather's married, so there's no need to, to worry about her. She got a man. Dorinda has a man. But she's also the type of person, I think, who can just, you know, if he don't want to be with her, well, F you, and she could just keep it moving. I like Dorinda. I like the way she thinks. I like Dorinda. Here are my favorite New York City gals. Dorinda, even though she's brand spanking new, I like her. Dorinda, I like Luann. Heather, I can take or leave. She's got certain points, but she's very alpha. Her and Bethany are very alpha, and they're just like, she always wants to help. She always wants to, and sometimes you just uh, back it up. So I could take her or leave her, but I like Dorinda and Luann. Yeah. Ramonia and Sonia are not the Ramonia. Ram Did I actually say Ramonia? Ramona. <laughs> Ramona and Sonia, they, not, they don't even make my list, okay? Sorry. So that's basically it on Real Housewives of New York. It looks like it's going to be fun pickings next week. I think they're going to, well, they're already in Turks and Caicos. Last night, they were, they, they, they'd arrived to Turks and Caicos. So the Turks and Caicos vacation will continue, I suppose. So we shall see how that goes. I mean, the whole, uh, you, everybody knows that I have to share a room with Sonia and I'm taking this room and, and, and we want that room. What are we in eighth grade? I mean, really, really, there are enough rooms for every damn body in this place, but oh no, we have to have a room. It has to have a bath. It has to have a, this it has to, issues. Sometimes Sometimes a person can have just too much money and still not be happy. Give me the money. I will be happy as a pig in ish. You already know. So, yeah. So that that's basically it in a nutshell, people. That is it. That is all. Lips of the day, Real Housewives. That's basically the, the, the video for today. Nothing at work is going on that I can transfer over. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. There's a, the, one is leaving tomorrow, Thursday, and the other three are leaving on Friday. So, oh, they, people is people is jumping ship. Not our jumping ship. They is they is jumping ship. That's how bad it is. It's so bad you can't even speak the correct English. It's that bad. I wake up every morning, as hard as it is to hear that alarm, and I keep it moving. I go to work, I come home. That's it. Oh, before I go, let me tell you about a dream I had last night. It was rather disturbing. It scared me so much I had to wake up from it. I went to the bathroom and then I came back and I said a prayer. And I said, please, dear God, let me have better dreams than what I've had. This was a dream of me dying. But I wasn't on my deathbed dying. I was living my life knowing that I was going to die. I don't know if it was an illness, if somebody was going to kill me. It was a rather disturbing 
dream. It really was a rather disturbing dream. I mean, it was, it was, um, it, it frightened me to the point where I had to wake up. I didn't wake up in a cold sweat or breathing heavier and I just woke up. I just had to shape this dream. I was doing things, living my life, but it was like I was living against time. Like there was a certain time that I was going to die. So I had to do all the things that I wanted to do. I don't, I hope that's not a message. I hope somebody is not sending me a message of any kind because I cannot deal. In the dream, I was trying to survive as much as I could, trying to, to talk to people that I haven't spoken to in a long time, trying to go places, not trips as in like other countries, just go places, different places. It was very, it was very strange. It was very bizarre. And here's the thing. I don't know if people believe in spirits or believe in God or believe in what you call God or what you may not call God. All I know is I went to sleep. It was time to go to sleep. I went to sleep at 12. Went to sleep. Normally, when I close everything, I'm in the bed and Tom is, you know, next to me and he's getting ready to snuggle or he'll go behind the window and he'll do his thing before he goes and sleeps with me. I just went to sleep. I normally go in the bed and then I do my prayer. I didn't do my prayer. I just went to sleep. And I maybe that maybe the dream was trying to tell me you did not say your prayer. I don't know what death had to do with it. But when I woke up, I went to the bathroom. I had to kind of shake it off a little. I came back to bed and I immediately did my prayer and then I went and went to sleep peacefully. I went to sleep peacefully. But that was very disturbing. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a Catholic and I believe in God. I'm not, a, I'm not a super Catholic person. Like I, I don't go to church. I talk to God. He and I have a special bond. You know, I talk to him about my mom and I talk to him about my father and I talk to him about me and, you know, but I'm not a super Bible thumping religious person, but yeah. I said my prayers last night and I said an extra, you know, Lord, please let me have good, good dreams because the one that I just can't woke up from, I'm not feeling and I am not ready to go anytime soon. So it was very strange. It, has that ever happened to you? Like, have you had very like strange dreams that may give you a message of some sort? If this was trying to give me a message, I don't want this message. I don't want this message at all. Okay. I don't don't want this one. So I just wanted to share that with you. I, I know that left it on a down note, but I don't, I don't mean to, but I just, I need to, I needed to tell you. So that's it. On that note, now we're, you know, now I'm going over. So that is it. That is all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Three down, two more to go, people. Three down, two more to go. Let's hope they go really quickly, okay? I don't know what's on tonight. I don't know what's on television-wise, so I can't discuss. So that's it. I'll talk about it tomorrow. I love you. Bye now.